And right now, Tampa police searching for a second suspect in connection to the shooting outside Armature Works. A 17 year old has already been arrested. Eight on your sides, Chloe Sparks is live with the very latest on this investigation. Good morning. Good morning, guys. 17 year old Gabriel Katoy will be charged as an adult and he is facing several charges, including a second degree attempted murder charge. Now you might remember if you were watching us yesterday when we were at the crime scene near Armature Works and Tampa police investigators were out there. They were going through video. Well, they say that video has led them to believe that two groups were involved in Tuesday's shooting. The search is on to find that other suspect. Two days after the Tampa shooting near Armature Works, one teenager has been arrested and police are calling on the community to take action while still searching for another suspect who is also likely a teenager. We do not tolerate this. We will find who did it. We will charge them and the state attorney's office will prosecute them. Police say video and witnesses are helping them make strides in the investigation. A lot of people running. A lot of people crying, emotional. Evidence has led police to believe gunfire erupted after a heated altercation between two groups. We're told they were groups of boys between 13 and 17 years old, which raises another concern, how teenagers got a hold of these guns. A lot of guns are coming from cars. Last year, we had over 200 guns that were stolen from cars that were left unlocked. So if you think about it, that's just in the city of Tampa. After October shooting in Ebor and now this, Chief Lee Burkaw is once again urging the community to lock their cars. The first two shots, everyone was just kind of looking around, and then after two more shots, everyone just ducked down and ran, ran, ran. Three innocent women were shot in Tuesday's shooting. An increased police presence near the crime scene yesterday as TPD continued to investigate helped bring some relief to the community. It's safer than ever. I mean, we have like everybody around. It's safer. It's safer than ever, and and it's really a community place. And these are all small businesses that really need your support. Call Crime Stoppers or TPD with any more information or video you might have from Tuesday's shooting. Now, Eight on Your Side will continue to follow this investigation and provide you with updates. Reporting live in Tampa, Chloe Sparks, Eight on Your Side.